Hey everybody, Vaughn here with the Von Mr. Vlog and welcome to day 99, I think, of a year of yoga, which is exciting, um, if that is what day it is. Now, this is the last day of our sequence, so I would like to actually start it in reverse of what we have been doing. So let's start here, just propped onto our knees, like sitting back onto our feet. I think this is Thunderbolt position. And let's start catching up with our breath. Connecting that mind-body awareness. Letting the tension relax out of our face, our neck, our shoulders. Maybe roll our shoulders up and back a few times. Just let our hands relax down by each of our sides. Now let's come forward into tabletop. This is our new posture for today. And that is where um, we are gonna be bringing elbow to knee on each side. And it is okay if your elbow does not reach to your knee. What we're working on here is the compressive strength of our abdomen, as well as balancing through our supporting uh, knee, foot, and hand. So we will start by bringing our Fingers out in front of us, no foot out behind us, left arm in front, right leg in back. Inhale up. <sighs> Exhale down. Inhale out. <sighs> Exhale down. And this is very similar <sighs> to doing cat cow. We want to keep everything nice and slow. This will be our last one on this side. And we'll come back to tabletop. Reposition. And we are going to extend in preparation. Left leg back, toe to the ground. Right arm in front. Fingertips to the ground. Inhale up. And exhale together. There we are. Now let's actually fit in a little bit of cat cow. Walking our fingertips back. We'll be sitting on our feet again. In that thunderbolt position. It's like through our movement, we're shaking up that bottle of swirly glitter water that is our, maybe like our pee meter. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and so we move a bit, get it all shook up, and then we come and we sit for a moment and let it all slow down and settle. So now from here, <clears throat> pardon me, we're going to be stepping our right foot forward into a low lunge. And so we will support coming up with our glutes, through our quads and glutes, bringing that right foot forward. And we want to come over, stretching our left hip flexor, not extending over past a 90 degree. And we can even lift our left arm. And then step back and down. Up on the left leg. And you could raise both arms if you like. And then stepping back and down. Inhale. Exhale forward and up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, and back and down. Inhale. Up. 
and back and down. So it, I'm still figuring this breath out for myself. Um, so I'm having difficulty guiding you all through it. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Important thing is, keep breathing. <laughs> so. Like to inhale is the preparation. Come up. Exhaling up and through. Inhaling, supporting the back, top of the back foot. Inhale and whoop, back and down. I think that's three. Let's do two more on each side. And we're doing a full breath cycle. So we finish the breath cycle that's on, do a complete inhale and exhale while we're in the posture, and then inhale and exhale, move out. Inhale up, exhaling forward, inhale, exhaling, inhale, and now as we come into this last, last repetition of this posture, whenever we bring our arms up and back, let's focus on not having them as close to our head as we can because you might you know, just be doing that. Let's not bunch our shoulders up by our ears. Let's just keep it somehow shoulder blades resting in their holsters and extending nice, straight, elated arms up and out. And that's okay if you're right here. Just kind of trying to get that feeling in that rotation of our shoulders. So we will inhale and exhale. Forward and up. And back and down. Inhale. Forward and up. Exhale. And back and down. So now for our next posture that we would have normally done in preparation for this is we will be lifting through our quads and squeezing at the top with our glutes and then coming back down, kind of trying to do everything to a uh, four beat breath cycle. So inhale nice and slow for four, exhale for four, inhale for four, exhale for four. So we go. In. Exhale and squeeze in glutes. Inhale, low coming down. Squeeze those glutes. And down. Very good. From here, let's walk our hands forward, curl our toes under, inhale and exhaling into oof, downward facing dog, a very, very stiff downward facing dog. And that's okay. That's why we stretch, just to warm up the clay. Relaxing more the tension that you hold for me. Left leg there. 
we can walk our feet up or walk our hands back into a forward fold. Bend our knees, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. And now from here, let's come into our toe squat. You can use whatever kind of prop support that you would like. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. We're on our toes here. Our knees are traveling. We're trying to travel over our feet, like railroad. Left side toe here. Inhaling up. Inhaling up, one more. Inhale up, onto our tippy toes and lowering, nice and slow. Inhale up, and exhale, feet flat on the ground. Inhaling up arms overhead, up onto our tippy toes, and exhaling, still raised onto our toes, coming down very nice and slow into that squat. Full breath cycle. Then come up. And We will just do the three today because, man, my thighs, my knees, my ankles, they are feeling it. But from here, we can now go into our, we're going to be lifting forward, holding, transitioning through. So our front leg's coming forward, hold, transition through, lifted behind, hold, and then coming back up where we shift our weight, and then do the same thing on the other side. So. I'm actually going to start my left leg today. I don't know if that's typical, but it's what I feel like doing. So we're going to inhale. Hold our leg, but exhale our breath. Two, three, four, shake. Two, three, four, hold. Two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four. And shift that weight over to our left leg. Let's now repeat it on the other side with inhale. Transition through. And then coming up. Ooh, my left leg does not feel as strong as my right leg, but that is okay because we're still here. We're still doing it. Shifting that weight back over to our right side. We're going to use a little bit of assistance here. Transition through. Then coming up. Shifting that weight. Last one on each side now. Transition through. Shift as we exhale. Last one on this side. We'll inhale up. And coming up. And just here in the center. <clears throat> Now from here, we will be doing our shifting and leg lifting, which we're going to incorporate our arms with as well. So we will, let's start by coming over to the right and inhale. And down, two, three, four. 
And as we come down, we go ahead and shift and then come up. Hold, exhale. And exhale, we'll shift down. Two, three, four, and inhale. One, two, shift, three, four, and up. Two, three, four, <clears throat> hold. Two, three, four, hold while inhaling. Two, three, four, and shift down. Two, shift, three, four. So let's kind of, let's pair our breathing up with that. We'll Inhale up, two, three, four. Exhale, we're holding knee up, two, three, four. Oh gosh, I'm all wobbly. We can do this, guys. And shift, two, three, four. Last one on each side. One, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And shift. Up, two, three, four. And shift, two, three, four. Whew. And from here, you guys, we're just going to breathe. Come up onto our tippy toes and exhale down nice and deep into our knees. Inhaling arms up, coming up onto our toes, and then bowing back down. So it's really good today, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so excited to see y'all tomorrow, uh, where we will be starting our new sequence. I can't wait to uh, to start that with you guys. Whew. Kicked my butt. <laughs> That's good though. That's really good, but. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me. I look forward to hearing from you in the comments, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. So until then, keep on keeping on. Bye.